The following video is part of the TVCG journal paper submission, Influence Maximization with Visual Analytics. In this video, we give a complete overview of the system, plus a simplified rundown of the case study 1 described in the paper. This is the main view of the system, with 4 simulations loaded. 4 is also the maximum number of simulations that can be visualized at the same time. At the top of the window, the buttons allow to switch between the available graphs and simulations, plus update the simulation list and launch a new one. While simulations can be requested from the system, graphs are loaded manually through a script capable of reading and parsing GML file. On the left side, we find the graph density matrix and simulation control views. The former consists of a schematic matrix visualization obtained as follows. First, when a graph is first reloaded into the system, a drawing is computed for it, if not provided. Then, the player is sliced into cells. The color intensity of each cell reflects the number of nodes that fall into it. The number of cells can be increased or decreased through the slider below. Hovering on a cell displays the number of nodes that fall into it, and such behavior is coordinated with the other views of the system. Below, we have the simulation control view. It allows the user to simultaneously animate the simulations over time or to move to a specific time instant using the slider. Below, it presents a set of statistics for the loaded simulations and it is used to control the individual simulation views, as it will be shown in the following. Each loaded simulation presents up to four views that provide a concise yet complete set of information about each diffusion process. The box and whiskers chart shows the overall influence spread trend over time. The diffusion matrix reflects the fraction of nodes in the cell that are likely active at the considered step of the diffusion process, and is defined on the same set of cells of the density matrix. The node link view presents a detailed visualization of an area of the current graph. Nodes are color-coded depending on their current activation probability on a scale from white to purple. Seeds are instead colored in a bright blue. The edges covered by the diffusion process appear in a scale from white to red based on their activation probability at the current time step. By hovering on a vertex, the area chart provides a trend view of its activation probability per time step, both instantaneous and cumulative. We will now provide a demonstration of how all the views are coordinated. At step 0, as shown here, it is possible to compare the seed distribution between the loaded simulations. To enable the node link views, it is necessary to brush the area of interest on the density matrix. By using the buttons in the simulation control view, it is possible to modify the appearance of each single simulation. It is possible to hide and show, in the node link view, the diffusion and graph edges, the latter shown in light grey. It is also possible to visualize the numerical activation probability at the last step of the simulation for low and high efficiency cells in the diffusion matrix. One of the design tasks of the system is to feedback and modify the seed set of an existing simulation by removing and adding new seeds in different cells. To showcase this feature, we use this simplified example from the paper's case study 1. We aim at improving the spread of the random seed set. We start by comparing the seed distribution and the total spread between random and single discount selection. We lock the node link view onto an area where random has poor coverage compared to the other simulations. By clicking on a cell of the node link view, the seed suggestion window opens. If a cell has low coverage, less than 50% by the end of the simulation, the system suggests to add seeds and remove them otherwise. 
However, the user has full control. The same process is repeated for as many cells as desired. By intuition, vertices with high how degree are good candidates given their potential of influencing many vertices. The new simulation is requested with a list of modifications to be applied on the seed set of the selected simulation, in this case the random one. Once ready, it is shown as available in the system. With our modified seed set, we obtain a significant improvement in terms of spread over the original one. Please refer to the paper for more details. Thank you for watching.